Waters from the Ice Age floods carved much of the present-day landscape of eastern Washington. Palouse Falls remains one of the most prominent waterfalls in the area along the Ice Age flood path. It is important to note that Palouse Falls State Park requires a Discover Pass. After the financial aspect is settled, you have two main choices. Number one is for the lazy ones. Go straight to the view observation area. If you're looking for adventure or some adrenaline, the second choice is the right one for you. Local guys have rated the hiking trails as being a very difficult level. And here is why. Since the year 2016, four deaths have been reported at this waterfall. Only after these incidents, the rangers and the staff decided to put up fences, along with warning signs, as well as make some of the dangerous paths closed to the public. We have just found someone who was here but they're not here any longer. Oh, hello there! We have seen a ton of wonderful views, however, getting some aerial footage would be nice. But that's where the problem comes in. Unfortunately, having a valid drone license is not enough these days. Drones are strictly prohibited at Palouse Falls, unless you submit a permit application to the park 60 days prior to the date you plan to fly the drone on. No hard feelings, Washington is a fantastic place, but you can't compare it to Hawaii or Iceland for instance where people actually plan their trip months before arrival. So we had to drive a couple of blocks away from the actual waterfall and launch the drone. For all the haters in the comments section, yes, I think the shots were well worth it. In conclusion, the Palouse Falls is a very unique waterfall. If you ever visit the state of Washington, make sure to put this on your to-do list. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I would appreciate if you would leave a thumbs up.